everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am going to be doing a first impressions and review of two new products from be perfect so i'm going to be testing firstly the ekansu radiant glow and the chroma cover luminous so i did wait quite a while to buy these products the chroma cover's been out for two three months now um and the Ekin Sue, I never really planned to buy this. But it's been going like viral on TikTok, so I was like, I'll just try it and see what it's like. It was in the sale, so that's when I picked it up quite recently. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Like, not in terms of the milliliters of product, but just in terms of the size of it. But I'm going to try them both today and see what I think. It's probably not the best time for me to be trying out new products for my skin because as you can see I've got like quite a bad breakout at the minute but I have waited like three four days since they've arrived so that I could um film first impressions on them for YouTube so I'm just gonna try them out today and see what they're like so if you want to see me try these out then just keep watching. So firstly the Ekans Sue Radiant Glow this is like you can use it as a, an illuminating primer, you can use it as liquid highlighter, it's like a multi-use product so I thought it would be nice to try this because I love the Primark Flawless Glow and it's going to be like a similar product to that so um, and I got the shade, just the lightest one, if you can see, just 01 light because I'm quite pale so I it's just like I'll skip the lightest one because that's probably going to suit me best. So it has a pump like this. It does retail for, I think it's around £17. But I got it on the Be Perfect website when there was a discount code. So it was like, I think, walked out like £12, £13, something like that. I was going to buy it on TikTok shop, but they sold out of the lightest three shades really quickly. But they still had it on stock on their website. So it says shake well before use. So I did shake it up there before coming back on camera so I think I'm just gonna take like one pump of it I don't know how much I should use okay so I think it's gonna take yeah like a few pumps before it comes out so I've taken like a bit of it there I don't know if this is gonna be enough for my whole face don't know probably not Probably just take like a tiny bit more, just for like my nose and stuff. Um, it does smell quite nice, and it definitely you can definitely see like how much of a glowy product it is. I'm going to start um blending in with my foundation brush. I've literally just cleaned it, so I'm going to start um blending it in with this. I hope this is enough product, not quite sure, but hopefully. Do you know what? I literally just realised that I forgot to do eyeshadow before this. Like this video is only going to be the the uh, the Ekansu Radiant Glow on the uh, foundation, but I am like wearing full makeup today and I just, literally just completely forgot put eyeshadow on before filming this video so I'll have to do my eyeshadow after my foundation today <laughs> I am literally so stupid but yeah um I think that probably like oh it's really glowy and um, that probably is like enough product for it to be like under a foundation but I'd say if you want to wear it like just on its own you might want to take a bit more um it's a bit patchy up here so i don't know like if that's just if i should have maybe blended it in with my fingers or something i don't know but it is like so nice i feel like it doesn't matter if it's that patchy because you're gonna be like you know putting all the makeup over it it's definitely like much more glowy than the Primark Flawless Glow that I've been using um would I go out in just this 
maybe because it doesn't feel that like sticky on my face I don't know but it doesn't feel too sticky and like just look at that glow, glow it's killing me I, I hate these spots and um, just just focus on this side of my face but yeah I feel like it is giving like did I get down here I honestly like I'm just gonna take a tiny 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 bit more like literally <laughs> that much and just put it down here um it doesn't really cover like redness but it's not meant to because it's so like like coverage but yeah i really do like this like the price point it is quite pricey for it because it's like 17 pounds full price so um i can't make my mind up about the price on it right now but i definitely say there's such a difference between this and the Primark flawless glow so I can definitely see where the higher price point is coming from because it it's much more glowy than the Primark flawless glow so I would definitely say it is worth more money but it is it worth that £11 price difference between the two because the Primark is 6 and this is 17 so is it worth an £11 difference? Um, I'm not 100% sure at the moment but I'm really liking this so far and I'd also say that actually the shade match is really good for me obviously because it's the lightest one Um, I don't know I might have been able to get away with the next one up but this just this suits me really well this one so I'm gonna move on to the chroma cover luminous foundation and I'm so excited to try this Um, this is the shade C2 so that's what I have in the matte chroma cover I do love the matte chroma cover because it's really full coverage um but the pump on the matte one was a bit like up and down like you know it, it wasn't the second bottle I got of the matte chroma cover after I finished my first one the pump didn't work at all and then it worked like once like recently when I tried it in my video but then it stopped working again so hopefully the pump works on this because it'd be perfect they'd say that they'd resolve the pump issue so let's hope that that's true Okay, like nothing's coming out yet on the pump but it could be I can feel something might be coming up now it could be a case of you know just have to pump it a few times before it comes up yeah yeah it's coming out now so I'm just taking like one pump I'm going to put it just kind of around my face I'm not sure if I'll need more than one pump maybe because it's not fill coverage it's medium coverage buildable so i'm just gonna you can definitely see the luminosity in this foundation 100 percent. like i'm not sure if it's just because of the primer below it i don't think it's just because of the primer but you can 100 percent see like the luminosity coming through there i think this is actually my first like foundation review on this channel because I just don't really buy new foundations like I'm not one of those people that has to have like 20 different foundations on the go at once I'd say it's you can definitely notice it is medium coverage definitely because as you can see things are quite like my redness is still showing up there so I'm definitely gonna have to go in with another pump of it just to get my desired coverage but like that's fine because it's buildable so maybe if I didn't have these spots I'd be fine with the one pump but I'm gonna go in with a second pump here and see what difference that makes I'm probably gonna have to go over the spots quite a lot with the conceal my concealer today so that's expected anyway because even with my other foundations that I've been using I have had to go over them quite a bit with concealer because my normal foundations are just not covering the spots at the minute I'd say shade match pretty spot on they did say to get like reshade matched for the luminous chroma cover even if you're already matched for the other one but I just kind of trusted that the shade would still suit me and I would say it does yeah doing that second layer has definitely like built it up like 
so much. I would say like the, the second layer has definitely made such a difference in the coverage. So if you do prefer like more full coverage like me, then you're definitely probably going to have to do a second pump of that foundation just to get the desired like coverage or of course you could just go with a bit more concealer but this is what the foundation and I can see rain glow are looking like together so look at that glow I am absolutely obsessed um it definitely is a buildable foundation because you can quite clearly see the difference between when I had the one pump on to now my spots aren't completely covered my redness isn't completely covered but it's a lot better than with just the one pump so yeah I have no idea what this is up here like I don't know um, I'm just getting all kinds of breakouts everywhere but this is what it's looking like with one pump of the Ekansu and one pump of the foundation I'm just taking some excess off the pump of the foundation i'm just going in here just because like i find this bit these bits of my face like down here just never cover for some reason like no matter what foundation it is like these bits down here just they always be like so red but i'm really happy with the coverage everything i'm gonna come back when i've done my full face with makeup and we can see what the whole thing is looking like and what the, these products are looking like at that stage. I'm back now. So um, this is my finished makeup with the um, I can see Radiant Glow and the Chroma Cover Luminous. So yeah, this actually does say on it medium coverage, soft filter, luminous foundation. So I wasn't too sure after I put them on, like immediately after I put them on when I started to do the rest of my makeup, I was like, I'm not sure but now that the whole thing's finished I am literally obsessed I think it looks so nice and glowy like I'm literally obsessed with this I just I done exactly what I normally do I um put my powder on part of my under eyes powder like everywhere else not so much on the cheeks because I do like to not really cover up my little blush that much but yeah i basically just done my normal powder and everything and use this collection setting spray because i'm using it up before i go back into my revolution super g but i'm literally obsessed and i really want to try to use this like as a highlighter as well because i think it would just be so nice but overall i'm just really like loving the foundation and the um what is this even called radiant glow yeah i'm absolutely loving them together so i'll have to see like when i'm out and you know like through a long day like how they last so yeah but i am um i am like absolutely obsessed i don't think i like look this glowy like ever i really do love them but the thing with the foundation is you do have to build it up so i did have to go in with two pumps just because one pump I wasn't really getting the coverage I want but obviously that's because it's medium coverage foundation so I knew it was like buildable so I'd have to build it up but that's absolutely fine and the same thing with the radiant glow I'm not sure if like how much I put on was enough I might put a bit more on next time I'm, I'm not sure maybe need to like look up how much people are putting on of that um just to get to no, I know it's not full coverage or anything, you know, it's really like coverage, but just to get it to kind of spread around my whole face, I'm wondering how much I should put it on, but I think it looks so nice. I just think I look quite radiant today and I just like that. And I think these products are working really well together. Um for my other makeup I've used the P. Louise Wedding Wish XL on my eyes, um the Revolution and Roxy liquid blush in Sakura. Primark Barbie Powder Blush Primark Barbie Highlighter. I've been loving the Barbie Highlighter recently. Um, I yeah, I just think it's it's stunning. Use my Pink Honey, uh, BFF Face Frosting for Cream Bronzer. Use my Makeup Academy um Golden Hour Palette Solar One Hundred 
powder bronzer, um, double act mascara from Primark and for lips, Doll Beauty Princess lip liner. Don't use this one that much, but it is like so nice. It's like it's like a brownie, purpley kind of color, like like a mauve color that would probably be like easier to describe it. I used this lipstick from Primark, which is Daydream. So this is a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So look at me going back into my collection and not just reaching for my new stuff constantly. So. Um, and then the gloss is this one, which is, again, me, like, reaching back into my collection again. So, this is the L'Oreal. Is there a name on it? Um, it's one of the L'Oreal Plumping lip glosses. It's in the shade Eyesore. If you can, I don't think you can see, see that there, but it's Eyesore. Um, it's just quite sheer, so it did, like, top on top of this lip like quite nicely so i really love this lip but yeah let me know your opinions down below what do you think of these products um do you think they are good i'm i'm really liking them so far i have to say but you know this was just first impressions i will have to see kind of how, how they wear throughout the day how they wear throughout time things like that but yeah definitely let me know your thoughts down below if you've got these products let me know what you think of how they look on me because I am absolutely loving it but yeah any thoughts and opinions I'd love to hear them down below and thanks so much for watching and if you did enjoy this video it would really mean a lot to me if you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below for future content but yeah I'll see you again soon uh, for another new video thanks so much for watching bye